Welcome to the introduction to the Irish language by Welcome to an introduction to the Irish language by Celtic Life and Heritage Foundation. I am Kiran Omani. Today I will be your guide. This lesson covers numbers. Numbers are quite difficult, but stay with me. It's going to become simple over time. I'm going to start off by writing them out up here. The vocabulary that you will need for that, and again, it's a download on your, on the website. In, do, tri, cahar, and kuig. So, in, you can see it's a diphthong, two vowels to make one sound. Do has a shina father on the O, so it's not do, it's do. And then you've got a shina father on the I for tri. It's not tri or tre, it's tri. In, do, tri, cahar. Again, it has the H on the T, so that becomes an H sound, or even silent, but I think H is better. And then the last one, Kuig. C-U, Father, I-G, five, Kuig. N, Do, Chi, Kar, Kuig. However, when you're learning these, you'll find that we put the A in front. A N, a Do, a Chi, a Kar, and a Kuig. This comes from ancient Irish and um, it's, it's the way they've done it forever and it's just the, the participle before the word to make it sound good. Um, the problem is of course that if you've got two vowels clashing, you know the answer to this. Whenever you're in trouble for the Irish language you always choose an H. It makes sense. So you got a hen, a do, a chi, a car, a cuig. Let's go keep going. A she, a shot, a, up, and you know what's going to happen here, an A clashing with an O, so you guess what, yes, you're dragging an H, a hook, an A, and that's three vowels to make one sound, it's a triftong, A, not easy, but you'll get there, and the A, and the last one, a de. And that's not easy either because you've got a CH at the end, but it's silent. The H makes the C go silent. I know it makes no sense, but if there's nothing following, there's no reason to use it. So it's like a Y that's not used. De. So it's like D-E. So a hair on the door, a tree, a car, a kui, a shay, a shock, a hook, a nay, a de. We learned the base numbers from zero from one to ten. Hen la do chi kahara kui gishe shak the hop kunai de. So now we're gonna add teens to that. This is one and if you have eleven it's gonna be one teen. And adding a teen is a easily you just add the word for teen which is deg. A hen deg is eleven. A hen is one, a hen deg is eleven. A do and then a do and you would want to add the deg like that, but guess what? As in every language, there are exceptions. And 12 is the only exception. You have to put an H on it. And when you put an H on a D, and guess what? It's a D that's slender. You end up with a Y. Easy. A do yeg. A hand deg, a do yeg, a three deg. You go back to the original, and that's the same all the way down. So if you want to add teens to any of these numbers, you just add the deg. We'll put them all in here, and then we'll say them together. So when we get to 10 teen, it's actually 20. So we have to actually learn that word. So that will be fihe. And we'll, we'll talk about what the other numbers are in a second. But first of all, we'll go back and, and take a look. A hen, a do, a tree, and you've got a hen deog, a do yog, a tree deog. A kahar, a a kahar deog, a kuig deog, a she deog, a shak de hak a nae, a shak deog, a hak deog, a nae deog. And then 20 from de becomes fihe. De fihe. So numbers work in any language almost the same way. So we had 10, 20, and 100. So the point is that. Um, we already learned 10, and we have to learn the vocab. It's, it's, there are hints about what the vocab could be, but you really need to learn it. It's not like you can make it up. Fihe uh, 
there is nothing in the past what we did in numbers that would even any indication that fit is 20. You just have to learn it. However, Trucker 30 does because 3 was 3, 13 was 3 Dirk, and 30 is Trucker. You just have to see the, the beginning of it, the initial three letters of the same. And then with, with um, 40, you would expect that to be the same. It used to be up to about the 1960s, and then it, they changed it for some weird reason, and it's now Dahad. And so again, there is no connection to, to 4, which was Cahar or Cahar Deag. Uh, 5 was Kuig, and 50 is Kuega. So it's slightly similar, but nothing that you haven't... You couldn't make it up, but six is Shea, and now uh, that becomes Shaska. S C A, and sh seven was Shocked, and becomes Shocko, which is very easy. You just add an O father, and eight the same way. Oct becomes Octo, and nine is Noka, and then a hundred. This is a little bit confusing, and people. Um, cannot understand why we would have done this, but neither do I. <laughs> 100 is Kid. Kid is also the first. So if I said the first child would be on Kid Lanov, if I said Kid Lanov, it would be 100 babies. So you have to understand from the context what the, the word is. The same spelling, same sound, it can be either 100 or it can be the first. So let's go a little bit further than that. If I was going to say 21, because you already know that 1 is an, fiha, and then you'd say a, fiha hen, fiha do, fiha three. The problem is, when you've got this vowel and this vowel clashing, you know what's going to happen? You can't do that. It's, it's one of the rules of the language. So we say, we just drop the a, and we say, Fihahen, the H holes. The same thing here, truka, truka, a hen, you drop it again and you add the H. Dahad is okay. You can say dahad, a, and then hen. Kwega, you have to drop it. Kwega, hen. Shaske, you have to drop So anywhere where there's a vowel, you have to drop it. So the, the rule is very simple. If you've got two vowels clashing, you just put an H in there or, or get rid of one of the vowels somehow. So, fihe hen, fihe do, fihe tri, fihe kar, fihe kuik, fihe she, fihe shakt, fihe hok, fihe ne, tuka. Tuka hen, tuka do, tuka tri, tuka kar, tuka kuik, tuka she, tuka shakt, tuka hok, tuka ne, dahad. Dahad, a hen. Dahad a do, dahad a sri, dahad a kahar, dahad a kuig, dahad a she, dahad a shat, dahad a hap, dahad a ne, kwega. Kwega hen, kwega do, kwega chi, kwega kahar, kwega kuig, kwega she, kwega shat, kwega hap, kwega ne, shaska. Shaska hen, shaska do, shaska tri, shaska kahar, shaska kuig, shaska she, shaska shak, shaska hap, shaska ne, shato. Shakta hen, shakta do, shakta tri, shakta kar, shakta kuig, shakta she, shakta shakt. Shakta hok, shakta ne, okto. Okto hen, okto do, okto tri, okto kar, okto kuig, okto she, okto shak, okto okt. Okto ne, noka. Noka hen, noka do, noka tri, noka kar, noka kuig, noka she, noka shak, noka hok, noka ne, kid. And when you get the 100, you can start all over. You just have to put the word end. And the word end is easy, it's agus. Kid, agus a hen. Kid agus a doll. Kid agus a de. Kid agus a fehe hen. Kid agus a truke hen. Kid agus a dahar a kar. Kid agus a kweg a kui. Kid agus a noke ne. And then you'd have kid, ga kid, tri kid, kera kid. So, so you can keep going all the way up to a thousand or longer. And it's easy once you got the basics. Once you've got the basic numbers, you can go all the way up to a thousand and beyond. So we just go as far as a thousand today with the one hundred uh, counted up head. So a hundred is kid, and then two hundred. You can see that it changes to two. So we want to write the word for two.
2, which you've already learned is Do. However, when you're counting something, Do becomes Ga. And so it's D H A father, Ga. I know it makes no sense, but it's Old Irish that's translated into today's world. Ga. And then you're going to have to change the K to Ga Ched. Because, again, it's, it's, it's a, how we how we um, decline words and how we can, it's an infective language and the spelling tells us what's going on. Uh, the, the spelling of kid becoming head tells us that now we have changed, there's a new meaning, 200. When there's 300, it's three kid. The three didn't change. Same for kera. Well, actually that changes too because kahar becomes kera. Uh, we're counting, so the counting word for four is kera, and again it's c e for the a d. So ked, da ked, tri ked, kera ked, <clears throat> and um, five hundred would be kui ked, she. No, no changes here. C h a d. But when you get to seven hundred. Seven, eight, and nine things change um, with the cad part. So, shot, alt, lay. It should be an A. Lay. And so, what happens is you go back to the original version of cad and you eclipse it with a G. So, we got gad. We haven't seen eclipses yet but it's got to do with um, the complexity of numbers and the last three here uh, become shot ged, up ged, naked. So the C is not pronounced whatsoever, the G takes over and you get, again the meaning, it tells you there's a lot more happening here. The she ged becomes shot ged, up ged, naked. And then the last one of course is the thousand, which is Mila, and everybody has seen Mila in Cade Mila Fonte on St. Patrick's Day, which means a hundred thousand welcomes. So Mila is a thousand. And my father, so the I with the I with the Sheena father on it is like an E sound. Mila. So we got Ked, Ga Ked, Tri Ked, Kera Ked, Kuig Ked, She Ked, Shabd Ged, Up Ged, Nay Ged, and Mila. And of course, when you get the mila, then you start all over. Mila is a he, mila is a do, mila is a three, and mila fi he, mila fi tri, mila, you know, mila ga ked, mila tri ked. You can, you can just add all those basic words that we've already learned, and you can count up as far as any way you want to go up.